A two-car collision in southwest Missouri claimed the life of a Pittsburgh State student over the weekend. Nick Chase, a senior studying automotive technology, was a passenger in one of the vehicles that collided near the junction of Missouri Highways 126 and 43 on Saturday. The driver of the vehicle did not stop at a stop sign and collided with a pickup. Missouri Highway Patrol said that the victim was not wearing his seatbelt. Chase was 22 years old. The Pittsburgh State University Art Department is hosting a series of lectures later this month for faculty and community members to share their talents. The featured speaker, photographer Vaughn Waskovich, will kick off the event on September 26 at 7 p.m. in room 103 of Porter Hall. One of his pieces displayed at the event is titled, A Strange Place to Call Home. Waskovich has more than 20 years of experience as a commercial photographer and plans to talk about the conceptual and personal themes of landscape photography. The entire series of lectures will conclude September 29th. The exhibit will be on display until November 15th. For more information, visit www.pittstate.edu slash art. Via Christie has announced that its Pittsburgh Meals on Wheels program has increased its delivery volume in 2013. Last year, Meals on Wheels delivered 1,075 meals. As of August 31st, the program has delivered 1,259 meals to elderly participants. Meals on Wheels is still in need of volunteers to meet its increase in clients. To volunteer or for more information about the service, visit the Meals on Wheels website at www.mowaa.org. City officials have been informed the project to build a Goodwill store on North Broadway has been put on hold. Much of the work has already been completed and construction crew members have said that the building is now finished pending a few minor interior touches. The over 7,000 square foot building costs $760,000 and will accept donated items for resale. The new store replaces a dilapidated structure previously located on the site. The second annual Wipeout Domestic Violence Toilet Paper Drive and Contest will be held during the month of October. Students for Violence Prevention, in collaboration with Campus Christians, will be hosting the event. The group will be collecting items to be donated to the Safe House Crisis Center Shelter, a local nonprofit agency that helps victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, and stalking. Toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies, and trash bags are items that can be donated. Each item donated is worth points, and prizes will be awarded to one group and one individual who accumulates the most points. The drop-off table will be located at the glass point of the Overman Student Center on Wednesday, October 23rd, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., and Friday, October 25th, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. This Halloween, downtown Pittsburgh lit up with many Halloween festivities. More than 20 student organizations dressed up for its annual safe trick-or-treat for both kids and adults. This event includes candy, games, and of course a costume contest. It was hosted to provide children a thrilling yet safe, fun-filled night. Many businesses in downtown Pittsburgh also participated in Halloween festivities, including the Pittsburgh Art Walk. The Art Walk allowed Pittsburgh residents to show off their different styles of art along Broadway. Art styles ranged from traditional paint to music and dance. Live bands were also set up in Europe Park to give guests a real musical treat as bands rotated every hour. You know, after such a cold, rainy day, that would really hit the spot. Some soup. You're right. A bowl of hot tomato soup sounds perfect on a day like this. Well, that does it for this week's edition of GTV. Be sure to check us out on Facebook. Just search GTV or go to Facebook.com slash GTV Caps 13. Also, visit us on Twitter at Caps underscore 13. We'll be tweeting live during broadcasts all season. Have an idea for a story? Let us know. Hashtag GTV. Stay tuned for more great programming on Caps 13 and enjoy the rest of your day.